Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to a reading of the Bible. We are in Jeremiah still, and we are in chapter 31, chapter 31. Chapter 31. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of the, all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people who are left, who were left of the sword, found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Ye, yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned by my tabrets, or tabres, and shalt go forth in the dances of them who make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. For thus say the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people the remnant of his Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coasts of the earth and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child and she who travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping and with supplications. And with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in the straight way. Wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel. And Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations. And declare it in the isles of far off. And saying, he who scattereth evil. He who scattereth Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him who was stronger than he. That's probably Esau. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord for, for wheat, for wine, for oil, for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them and make them rejoice from, from their sorrow. I will satiate the soul of the, of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, Say the Lord. Now this is uh, a prophecy which is going to which was fulfilled later. But uh, thus saith the Lord: A voice was heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel or Rachel, weeping for her children, refused, refusing to be comforted for her children because they were not. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping, and thine eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. There is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus. Thou hast chastised me. And I was chastised as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me. Turn thou me, and I shall be turned. 
for thou art the Lord thy God. Surely after that I was turned, I repented. And after that I was instructed, I had smote upon thy thigh. I was ashamed, yea, even confounded, because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I spake against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore, my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, saith the Lord. See, set thee up waymarks, make thee high heaps, set thine heart, heart toward the highway, uh, even the way which thou went, wentest. Turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to these thy cities. How long wilt thou go out? Go about, O thou backsliding daughter, daughter, for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. The word compass there. Yeah, compass and compass a man. Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof, and when I shall bring again the captivity. The Lord bless thee, O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. There shall dwell in Judah itself and in all the cities thereof together husbandmen and they who go forth with flocks. For I have satisfied the weary soul, and I have replenished every every sorrowful soul. Soul, upon this I awaked. I awaked. <laughs> upon this I woke and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. My sleep, excuse me. My sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. It shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck them, to break down, to throw down, to destroy, to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, saith the Lord. In those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his, his own iniquity. Every man who eateth the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand, hand you're bringing them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward, inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. They shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, I will remember their sin no, no more. Thus saith the Lord, who giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, who divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances, excuse me, depart from before me, say the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. forever. Thus say the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched, searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, say the Lord. Behold, the days come, say the Lord, the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Ananael unto the gate of the corner. The measuring line shall yet go forth over 
against it upon the hill Garib, and shall encompass about Goath. The whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes, and all the fields up unto the brook of Kidron, unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east, shall be holy unto the Lord, and shall not be plucked up nor thrown down any more forever. That's chapter 31 of Jeremiah.